Hello, my shining stars. Welcome back to my channel. And today we'll be reacting to Sonic Prime Episode 5, Barking Up the Wrong Tree. Now, if you remember correctly from the last episode, uh, Sonic gets sent to another multiverse. And this one is a jungle kind of Jumanji themed multiverse where he meets with that version of that multiverse that multiverse's version of his friends and then we learn that there is a monster that's after them but turns out the monster is not actually a monster it turns out that the monster is amy and so amy helps sonic find the shard of the crystal and then amy decides she wants to keep it for herself so now we're gonna see what happens after that anyways let's get right into the video Oh, I. Amy, oh, splash! Tricking me into the water again. What? Again, Amy? What you? What you was trying to do? Gift isn't just the tree. It's all the memories we've made around that tree. Oh. Like that time when you bet me I couldn't fly up to the top by the time you ran home and back. You still owe me, by the way. <laughs> oh, he lost. We worked together to make Amy that coconut cream pie. Or when I saw you buy a coconut cream pie and tell Amy you made it. Ooh, calls him. <laughs> Rouge, why you had to expose him? My laughed so hard, chili shot out my nose. <laughs> I still can't smell. <laughs> That's concerning. Come on, guys. Don't you think you're all being a little too... I don't know... Sentimental? There's nothing wrong with that. Chili dogs! <laughs> I guess you don't get it. By the way, what do you guys think of this new and mature version of Amy? Because... Uh, a lot of people have mixed feelings, but I kind of like her because we get to see there's more to her as a character than just being the Sonic fangirl. Yes, the power to regenerate the jungle in a single strike. She became Poison Ivy? Uh, yeah. What? Let's see what this hammer can do. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, how are you gonna get that away from her? Get in my way again, and I won't be so forgiving. <laughs> I like her though. She's actually pretty cool. The scavengers have dealt with her before. They'll be fine. It's not like no, just I don't think around so. eating bark. It's good bark. <laughs> Sound like Crash Bandicoot music. <laughs> wow, that's some grip you have. <laughs> Why is Amy always a problem? Amy was a problem in the other uh, multiverse, and now in this one? Why is she so powerful? Dang. Oh my goodness. This might be making it worse, actually. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. How are you supposed to stop her? Bro. Well, look what the cat dragged in. I did not. <laughs> I low key forgot Big is a cat. Whatever your beef is, you gotta squash it pronto. What's all this about beef? What I'm saying is, you need to find some common ground. Common ground? We live in the trees. <laughs> this guy's paranoid. I can't. I, I can't. We used to be friends. Now I can barely remember a time when we all got along. Sharing the spoils of the jungle. Taking only what we need to survive. Only y'all taking a lot. Okay, I, I'm starting to see why she started tripping. You have to make peace with Thorn. No, we're done with her. Wow. Dang. Come on, Rouge. Is this supposed to like kind of represent like the bit of rivalry that Amy and Rouge be having sometimes? I mean, it kind of seems like it, but I'm not sure. Okay, here's the plan. We go in gently. <laughs> 
Bro, the other ones in uh, New York City were e easier to deal with than these people. It's dark. Too dark. Or she's making us think it's too dark. Yeah. It's just dark. How are these plants going to survive, though, without the sun? Okay, be cool. Act natural. Hey, Thorn. <laughs> we just want to have a friendly chit-chat. Remember those? Do I look? She is not buying it. <laughs> Hi, Thor. Huh? Love that bird you're riding. Thanks, Brim. Birdie is one of a kind. That's an excellent treetop village you- What am I watching? Now, Amy would probably say we should talk about- Yes. Our feelings. 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 Feelings are like a trap to me. <laughs> I'll go first. I feel like- um, like you don't know what you're doing? I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> now you go. Me? Sure, go ahead. Remember, there's no wrong way to feel. She's distracted <gasps> now! Wow! That's messed up. Just that quick. She's distracted. Get her! Oh, wow. For the record, they deserve this one. Dang. Did you know? For the record, she could have just said, y'all taking too much. Can y'all dial it down? <laughs> that would have been okay. What do you know about togetherness? Okay, open up. Ta -da! Oh, hence the flashback. Oh no! Birdie, I'm sorry, but you have to keep going. He's probably at the Great Green by- Oh no, the bird can't even fly through this jungle! Ah! What? Hey! All I ever wanted was to protect the green. Now I've ruined it. Dang, now she realized she made a mistake. There used to be balance. But after a while. She uprooted the whole tree? Okay, Rouge, that was a little much. Take, but never give it oh back. my gosh. Never giving it rest. Never giving it respect. Okay, yeah. They they really messed up. Ta -da! Oh. Is that is the flicky supposed to represent the the little flicky she um took care of in Sonic Adventure? All my friend Amy would say, talk to each other. But she's a little corny. <laughs> I don't know. She sounds pretty great. Yeah. You are. Oh. Oh, Froggy. So it's supposed to be a mushroom or a cookie? Bruh. It looks like a cookie. <laughs> Oh wow, what a transition. Oh, snap the shard. oh that, that shard is gone. <laughs> I forgot about the shard. Little birdie told me where the shard is. Yes. Oh the bird is telling him where it is? Aw bird is a real one. Thanks. I wonder what multiverse he's going to next. Sonic, I'm lost in the void. Shadow? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're back in New York. New York City? Why are we back here? What? They're still fighting? Oh, no. That's it. Oh, my gosh. Well, that was episode five of Sonic Prime, Marking Up the Wrong Tree. Wow, that episode felt so short. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, so Shadow is lost in the void, and it seems like whenever Sonic starts to run really fast, he's able to somehow communicate with Shadow in the void. I, I, I don't know how that's beyond me. Okay, but somehow, okay, why is he back in New York? How does this work with the with the um multiverse travel? Okay. So the first time first time he went to New York and then when he touched the crystal again he 
end up in the jungle and now we're back at New York. Like, what is going on? How does this work? Alright. Uh, low key, a little disappointed. I wanted to see a new multiverse. But I guess we didn't necessarily resolve everything in New York. So uh, I guess we'll get to see what's going to happen there now. It like, seems like he just kind of left. It seems like he came back right when he left off the first time almost. Um, but I guess we'll see in the next episode. But this one was really good. I I enjoyed this. Um, seeing Sonic trying to act the way that Amy would act in this kind of situation and help Thorn and the rest of them reunite again. I I really enjoyed that. That was cute. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, what's next? Uh, okay. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.